Hello everyone, this is Doria Dar from FineTuners.ai and today I want to share with you my approach for one of casual gaming's most popular use cases, designing metagame scenes with AI. The first thing I generate with a simple text-to-image pipeline is the background. I try to keep it as minimal as possible, free of unnecessary objects. However, the scenes I choose usually have at least one item that I can easily cut in Photoshop and then use the amazing generative field to close the gaps and just like that, we already have our first item. Now, let's create more items to implement in the scene. Using a simple text-to-image pipeline, I generated a few totems, picked one and transformed the 2D image to a 3D model that looks, well, bad, but we're not quite done yet. The next step is to implement this object into the scene. So what you see here is a simple program I wrote that helps me position the item correctly. Once I find the right spot, I download the composed image and send it to ConfiUI. There I mask the item and regenerate it using ControlNet to preserve its structure. I repeat the process a few times until I get the desired result. Now let's do the same thing with a treasure chest. I start by generating a few chest designs, pick one and turn it into 3D. Then I position it in the scene, export it and regenerate it to make it blend seamlessly into the environment. Of course this method can be often convoluted and sometimes sketching right on the background can save us time. For example, adding a hammock between these two palm trees is pretty straightforward. I crudely sketch it on Photoshop, I mask the area and generate it in ConfiUI until I get a satisfying result. The last method is brute forcing the item into the scene without preliminary sketch or design or 3D model whatsoever. For instance, to add a monkey to this tree, I mask the area, write a proper prompt and hope for the best. Out of 10 different generations, I got this one, which actually looks quite nice. There's a lot of trial and error with this last method, but who knows, maybe you'll get lucky on the first generation. So what was your favorite technique? Let me know in the comments, please subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Mm-hmm.